Hey and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at the last match for this first season that we are um, doing. And it's got not it's not really gone to plan. It's not gone to plan. So we are possibly... I'm, I'm going to predict we're going to finish 16th. I'm not sure we're going to hold on to, to 15th here. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, so, so not a great start for us. Um... We've we've been kind of middle of the table the whole time, uh, with a couple of you know uh, times that we kind of made it to top um, the top half of the table, uh, but never anywhere near the playoff um, places. If you watch the previous episode, we um, we were I think trying. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Siri thinks I'm talking to him. Hang on. Um, we were trying. We we thought we were on the mend, but um, as you can see, it's been a mixture of results. Uh, and I guess the team hasn't really had time to gel together. We're still on average cohesion. Um, I made a couple of changes. Let me see if I can show you here uh, after that episode to some of the players. So we we got ourselves a new left winger, uh, Jordan Windass. <laughs> Great name. Um, he's a much younger player than than David was. Uh, David was um, I can't even remember how old David was, but uh, Jordan is only twenty two years old. Um, I guess this shows that because we're not we, we're still like an amateur club, really. We're not we're not. Or semi-pro, I suppose. We don't have full-time training, um, so when players come to us, even though we, I do our best to keeping our training to the best that we can, uh, they still decline, nonetheless. Um, yeah, I can't remember how old David was. Doesn't even show here because we just released him. David, thirty-six. So yeah, we got a new left wing left fullback and we also got ourselves a new defensive midfielder and a new striker so defensive midfielder uh, Nikki Bale Nikki Bailey much much better than the previous um, defensive midfielders he's doing quite well to be fair for us we released Paul Keegan and for the striker position we were really struggling with that position not really getting a lot of results there and Chris uh, Jordan, Chris, sorry, Chris Doolan has been doing okay for us there. So, so that's it. He's also quite a good leader in our team. So yeah, so we're just going to play our last match just to kind of close up the the series. But before we jump into the match, I just want to show you the under thirteen, the under eighteen. They've now come through. And it's it's not looking great, to be fair. Uh, if we look at our best player, which I think is this guy, he hasn't got the most potential, really. Uh, I forget how to look at. Yeah, I forget how to look at this. But anyway, it says it there. So potential ability is decent, good. Um, yeah, so obviously as seasons go on, we will be able to improve in that front as well. Okay, okay. Let's jump into a match. I've already selected the team to save time and then we can have a look at the season review at slides as well at the end. Like I said, I'm not expecting to win this match. Um, but we are playing, I think, with our best players. Best goalkeeper. Best defence. Yeah, we, we're playing with all of our best players. Um, for this game. Which hasn't been the case really recently. Because we had a couple of injuries. Especially Doyle's been injured for a while. Uh, and just like matches that were so close together that we had no time to rest our players. 
Oh, there we go. Goal for for us. That's that's really good actually. So we got our centre back. Christian P Pierce here with the heading, very good. Actually, Christian Pierce, who just scored a goal, has been tipped uh, as the league's best player. I didn't realise that until the voting came and um, he was named one of two favourites for it. So there was obviously a list of 10 players or so, but he was one of two favourites to win that. Which is really surprising. Okay, so they managed to draw. Now, the plan for... Um, the plan for the next season, really, is to assess our finances. And we have, like, a base team now that we just need to improve on. So I'm hoping we won't have to do... Uh, we, we essentially made wholesale transfers of like all of our squad because the only person who the only player who is originally from Hereford is Hotchkiss uh, all the other players I've brought in new um, Yeah, so hopefully next transfer window, I will only need, you know, a few players. Obviously, I need to do some transfers to improve the team, but um, especially because we have a couple of loans at the moment. Uh, so I think four loans currently. So we'll have to do at least four transfers, but prob probably a few more. But we won't have to do... 21 transfers or whatever we did this this season uh, it was probably more than it was more than 21 transfers but it was for 21 positions in my squad because I, I play with a 22 player squad two players for a position oh very close oh come on ah. Now, one thing that maybe I could pay more attention to is the dugout. I tend not to pay too much attention to the dugout. Also, it goes so quickly, the dugout as well, that sometimes by the time that I've managed to understand an action and whether or not we should do it, the time's gone by and it's gone. Uh, there we go, got a chance here. Is it quick enough? Yes, he is. Ross McCormack, one of our best players. Now we we definitely need to also look at um, doing some improvements for the club as well. Obviously, we've improved junior training, or it's called youth training. Um, but we should probably also include I, I quite like to go professional even though the club doesn't have the financial oomph to go professional but we could definitely maybe attempt to buy the stadium that would be good um, so we don't have to pay rent and we, we can do more with the stadium in that way another goal here from Ross McCormack and it's turning out to be a pretty good game for us. We're playing with our best team in all of our positions, so... Pretty good. Even though we've made some subs now, so... So it looks as if we might be able to finish 13th. Which isn't too far from top half. It's only one place away from top half. So hopefully the board will be a little bit 
generous and not sack me straight away. Because I've missed both targets for the cup competitions and by not finishing top half I, I will also have missed the league target for this season. So there's a pretty good probability that I will get the call. Okay, got a late goal here from Gates Head. Let's not even watch that. <laughs> no need for that. Cormac involved in all three goals. Very good. Okay, and final whistle's blown, and we have won. Got a very messy fitting room. Not fitting room. Changing room. There we go. Words. And yeah, we finished 13th. Uh, just uh, still playing, but it, that won't affect us. Okay. Nice. We're going to praise Ross. And... Uh, we don't have any more games, so I'm going to attempt to look at releasing some of these. How can I release them? Contract, terms of loan, there we go. Uh, at the club. Okay, it's outside the transfer window, so I can't. Alright. Because that would be one way to save money, but actually, if I look at them, I don't think I'm paying... Yeah, I'm not paying anything for them, so it's fine. Now, I'm assuming some time will be necessary for the playoffs, but oh, actually, he's in reviews here. So, let's review this year's transfers. Our best transfer by far has been Christian Pierce. Average rating of 7.78. Two goals to assist, 31 appearances with four substitutions in as well. Lou the Souza, that's going to be a good one for years to come. He's only 19 years old. Um, highlighted as the best deal um, has been our goalkeeper, 22 years old. 45 appearances, one assist. Uh, it doesn't say goalkeeping stats uh, but we can look them up 62 conceded so quite a high percentage eight clean sheets uh, we also have josh bailey and nikki bailey are they related just by curiosity mm, i don't think so okay and jamie doyle Jamie Dill with 16 goals is stagnated after January. Just didn't score anymore. Just stagnated. It was great the first few. The first half of the season, it was great. And then it just completely stagnated. Okay, transfers out. We don't really care about that. Uh, okay, biggest win 3 0 against Kidderminster. 4 to 2 to York, much to remember. Goal of the season. Uh, Steve Jennings. I don't remember that, but obviously I don't remember all the goals. I'm going to sneeze. So apologies if I do. I'll cut it out in the edit if I remember. Um, okay, so nothing. Oh, shirts. Yeah, this is cool. Dolan. The striker we just bought made it to the top five shirts. Um, Christian Pierce, obviously. He is a surprise. So this is Matthew Kilgallen, and he's the backup for Christian Pierce, the centre-back. Kaja is also a surprise. Ross isn't a surprise. He's, you know, um, he's quite an influential player in our squad. So this is a chosen lineup. Uh, I agree with all of these, maybe except for Ross and except for Walker. I would have, sorry, I would have 
Ross rather than Milky, and I'd have Co uh, Dolan, Doolan uh, rather than Walker. But, um, yeah. Alright, uh, fan play of the season, Pierce. Young player of the season, Louis the Souza. I agree with that. Signing of the season, apparently our goalkeeper. Goals of the season, Steve Jennings, we already mentioned that. Top goal scorer, Jamie Doyle, stagnated after the sec um, after the first half of the season. Kieran Dow, the same, same, same thing for him. He used to feed a lot of goals to Doyle, and then he stagnated at the second half. Uh, Pierce and Pierce and most passes completed go to uh, Josh Bailey. Oh, lots of records breaking. I think only because we haven't, um, you know, we've just started playing FM. Very good. Oh, sorry about that. I just, um, right. So that's all done. I just did that, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Don't know why it still shows you. Also, if you'll notice, the menus for the league tables doesn't actually show anything until you move it. I might report that as a bug. Um, so, it, oh, this is cool. It gives me a little stat analytic report. It's just too much, too many words for me. Yeah. Okay. Too many words for me. Uh, for next season, let's have a look. They want us to sign players younger than 23. I'm going to remove that if possible. Keep to the budget. Avoid relegation. So they're lowering expectations for next season. Yep. Uh, come on. Okay. It's only preferred. Anyway. Uh, let me just see what else first. What's this meant to be? Yeah, there's some missing information there. Okay, plans for next season. We're going to avoid relegation. So, um, I'm already looking ahead to the next season, and we're definitely good enough to avoid being drawn into a relegation battle. I'd say. Brilliant. Um, ta da. Okay. That's made them all fairly happy. Okay. We avoid a tax hit. We have a new five. Oh, five new sponsorship deals. Most notable of which, main kit deal. Let's look at the deals, shall we? So I have two deals going on for the shorts. One for the one for the back of the shirt, one for the main kit, and one for the additional kit. We also have a stadium deal that runs out next summer as well. So that's good. Um, scouting budget is staying the same. And we actually have a transfer budget this time around. We didn't have one last time. So if we look at so finances. 8.2 wage budget. That's the budget for next. So we currently spending 1k and then below it. Uh, most of our players are non contracts anyway, so <clears throat> that'll be easy to manage, I think. But it does give us an opportunity to buy some players. So we have 11k to play with as far as the transfer budget goes. I'm not going to extend any loans. I don't need to do that. And, okay, so, yeah. So, I think I'm going to look to Plug some of the um, most obvious gaps in um, 
in the squad. Uh, so I think ov we're obviously going to need a new um, uh, attacking midfielder. Sorry, centre midfielder with an attacking focus. Centre midfielder, an oh, inverted winger, and a goalkeeper. I thought I had more loans than that, but obviously not. Oh, of course, because um, Matthew McDonald loan finished and we had to get. I can't remember who it was. But yeah, we had to, Oh, it was Windus, I think. Oh no, it was um, this guy, Phil Edwards. We got him because Matthew McDonald, our right fullback, loan ended. Uh, so we only have three players on loan. So definitely going to have to get those three. And yeah, we'll see. I'll play around and I'll come back in once I've finished the transfers and I'm going to show you the first match of the next season. And I think I'm going to stop it here. We'll keep it as a short um, episode. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also check out the Patreon and all the links in the description as well for all the various things. Thanks so much. See you in the next one. Bye.